This video is best viewed in high definition and full screen. Under the right side of the video player, please click the Change Quality icon and select 720p or 1080p and then the full screen icon. In this section we look at Business Account Administration, where you can customise the system to best meet you and your customers' ways of working. Access the Business Administration site using the Business Account Administration icon. Log into the system using your ID and password. Only account administrators can access this facility. Here you can edit basic account information such as the main contact details for the account and maintain delivery addresses. Don't enter too many as the area where users can select a delivery address is limited. You can also associate customers and other administrators with the account from this page. This will allow customers to order directly against the account. To associate an individual customer with the account, click on Add People and ask your customer for the email address which they used to register for BLDSS and the account ID which the system gave them when they registered. Enter both and click Find. Once the customer registration record has been found, they can be associated with the account. They can also be identified as an administrator. While you need a small number of administrators for each account, and administrators can administer more than one account, you should not need large numbers. You can edit a customer record at any time. For example, if an administrator or an administrator moves on and no longer needs to access the account, then their association should be revoked. This ensures that they cannot continue to order against the account. If you have a large number of people to add to the system at once, you can put their details into a simply formatted file for a single upload. Look under the help prompt on this page to get instructions on how to do this. Document supply ordering options allow you to customise the BLDSS experience for customers using the account. Under people permissions you can set the account up for mediation or not. If you want your end users to order items without your involvement, set this to yes. If you want to see all orders placed by your customers, set this flag to no. You can also decide whether you want to allow delivery of copies and or loans direct to your end users by setting the remaining flags in this section. The default ordering and alerting options allow you to set the default criteria for this service which will display as your customers use it, or which will apply to art email requests where used. The copy encryption format tells us which format to use to encrypt your secure electronic deliveries. Remember that all of your users receiving secure electronic deliveries will need this software to decrypt them. If you have a license to receive unencrypted items, then this will not apply. You can choose whether to receive an email for each update to each order your customers place, or to receive a summary update once a day. Two hour orders will always generate an immediate communication. You can enter and update the email addresses to which we send delivery information and status updates. Please be careful if changing the delivery email address. You can select which plain English order status alerts or emails you receive from BLDSS. These can be selected using simple yes-no buttons and you can customise which you receive based on experience of use of the system. If you have a number of administrators per account, you may wish to consider a joint email address for these emails so that you can all access them and keep up to date with BLDSS events on your orders. Art email settings should be handled with care. If you do not submit requests via art email requests, you can ignore this section. You should only change the coded replies in-tray email address if your library system is also changed to pick up the replies from the same address. Please be very careful or you may lose replies. The authorization code identifies your account and sets costs for items ordered via art email against your account. Do not change this code without speaking to BLDSS customer services as you may not be able to submit requests if this is out of sync with your library system. 
the possible match and reject batch buttons indicate whether you want to use one or both functions of the invalid request queue within the main interface of BLDSS. You can also opt to have art email requests added to a waiting list by default if the item is not immediately available and to allow the default delivery address, which is usually your library delivery address, to be overridden, i.e. to allow items to be delivered directly to your customers where permitted. To log out of the Business Unit Administration pages, click Log Out. This concludes this section.